your girl Deja Deshae and I'm back. So today, as y'all see from the title already, y'all already know, I'm going to just be doing my makeup a little bit tonight. Um, I'm going to try to go all out, but like I said, it is like maybe 2 something in the morning. So, I mean, that don't really matter because I ain't got too much planned, but you know, we'll see what this takes us. I'm going to take my time. Y'all bear with me. But before I get this video started, make sure y'all give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, subscribe, catch the vibe, hit that bell notification button to be notified whenever I post on my channel. And if you've already been on my channel, thank you for watching. Now, as y'all see from my last video, and if y'all didn't see my last video, go check my last video out with me installing my wig for the second time. I have my yarn twisted back in my head, which is my go-to style now. I really found that I like it, and it's actually easy for me to do. It's kind of hard to get people to do your hair during this COVID, during this, during this quarantine. But regardless, it's like hard to get people to do your hair because people just be playing too much, and I don't like that. It's like when people start playing too much, I just don't be trusting people on my head. Like, y'all know I'm trying to grow my hair, so I want my hair to be in good hands, and I know my hair is in good hands if I do it. Or my girlfriend, Red, from Off Topic, make sure y'all go subscribe to her channel. TV do it, but other than that, you know, I try to do my hair myself. But enough of that talking, enough of that talking. We don't have time for that while I'm doing my makeup, so let's get right into the video. Okay, if I'm not looking at my phone, I do have a mirror that I will be looking at. So, if I'm looking down, that's kind of what I'm looking at. Or I might hold it so that I can get a closer view um, of my face. Uh, just to let y'all know. But, to start this off, I'm going to be using my MAC primer. People be trying to rub their face so cute on their, um, you know, video tutorials. But it's like, it ain't really a cute way to rub your face, you know. But... Before I get started, I'm going to go in with my HD color corrector just to um, get my dark spots and spots that's kind of, you know, hard to, for me to um, typically do. Okay, so I went in with my color corrector and I just, like I said, um, kind of just dabbed it on the spots where I felt like I need my color to be corrected. I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal True Match color. It's in the shade C6. If this is too dark, I will be going in with my Revlon. It's a um, mix of a caramel. I cannot believe I forgot. So I just ordered me a makeup bag from AliExpress. The link will be in the description if you guys want one. But I got all these new pretty makeup brushes that I cannot wait to use. And so I went and got me some makeup sponges. <sighs> Correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, I'm sweating. Because it's, it seems like it's always so hot when I start doing my makeup. And this is one reason why I just be not doing it. I don't like to sweat. Sweat on top of makeup just, uh, but... They don't tell you which one is for which, so I'm just like go in with what I think. I know like certain brushes is for certain parts, and I don't really know which brush, like as far as like the big brushes, which is for which. Um, but oh, like this one, like because I have a lot of different brushes, but like I said, that's a new this this one is a new set, so I don't really know. But this one says a uh, foundation angle brush. And I have another one in my set, so I'm going to just stick with these two in my sponges. It's like that. It's like painting, you know? Mm -hmm. To make sure that's how I end, I'm going to just go on my sponge and blend it. I'm going to spray my setting spray on the sponge and just go in and dab my face up. Now that my foundation is on, I'm going to go through and conceal my face up. Let's 
So now I'm going to go in with my contour and I'm going to just contour my face also while that sits. I just feel like, I'm going to see if I can just find like a better contour. Like, I feel like, I mean, I did um, let's, let's, so like, I just feel like you can't see it. So, I'm going to see if I can find, see if I have a darker, hopefully this is darker. See? go in with my pad or something to just sit. So I just have like kind of a feeling that it might not come out right just because I don't have the right contour. And I quite frankly want to cry. But I'm gonna do what I can with what I have. And we'll see. Alright, finally been done with my eyebrows. I didn't show you guys how I do my eyebrows because I already have an eyebrow tutorial. If you guys would like to see how I do my eyebrows, make sure y'all go check that video out. Um, the link will be somewhere in the description below or on the screen, however I end up editing this. But, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out now what I'm going to do because, you know, I guess I could do the same thing that I did with my cheekbones for everywhere else. So, I'm going to just, like, go in and kind of darken the places I need to and then put blush where it needs to go. Um, and then I will do my eyeshadow and my lashes and we should be just about done so what's the rush now it's time for the fun part my eyeshadow so i have a lot of little like different eye shadow palettes but first of all i should tell you i like the kind of theme i'm going for which is like i want to do like a starry night type of thing so i guess i'm gonna put like a couple stars on my face like in different areas and then um just like kind of see how that works out um should i do it like right here maybe like on my eye Let's see how this goes this is my first time um this is my first time trying to do designs on my eye lids on my eyeshadow so Hopefully it comes out good. I feel like my makeup is going really good so far, and I wanted to I want to keep it up. Uh, if it doesn't go out good, it's not a technically a fail for me, but I will feel like that I failed because my makeup is looking really good, and if I don't get the eyeshadow in, then it's really pointless for me because it ain't, and it is because I'm learning like new techniques and more stuff. But it's the eyeshadow for me, sweetie. The eyeshadow. So we just gonna get right into it. I also feel like it's like some type of white stuff. I'm gonna say stuff because I don't know what it is. The people put on their eyelids. I always thought it was concealer, but now that I'm doing this, I don't think it's concealer. So I need to figure out what that is. But I'm going to use this makeup palette since it's just a little more um, vibrant. I'm going to just test out this blue here. You're going to see like how that goes, you guys. I want to say I'm over hot. Like... So I am getting kind of tired, and like I said, it's late. I probably should have did this when I had more energy. I'm not slacking off, but since I'm kind of tired, it makes me feel like my work is slacky. 
but instead of the starry eye thing that I thought, which is kind of more complicated, and I don't, and I don't have the necessary tools that I need um, to make that look possible, go ahead and throw my lashes on. I might do a wing look. I'm not sure yet, and then we we'll just go from there. So I always wanted to try the wing look the wing look so now i guess this is my chance so we're gonna see how that goes and i'm gonna come right back to you guys This is my first time lining my lip. Okay, so you guys, this is my final look. Now, while I was, well, let shit, yeah, I'm going too fast. When I first started this look, I did want to start a look, as you guys know. That didn't work out for me because I didn't have the tools, as you guys seen, as I already said. But I decided to go with like a fun cotton candy look. Like if you, if uh, I would try, I would try to get a, a, a good picture of my makeup. But I have blue and pink on my eyeshadow and I kind of like mixed it up so this eye it's blue and then it's pink and then on this eye it's pink and then it's blue. Yes. So, you know, I just wanted to do something fun. I wanted a fun, pretty look. Um, I really wish I had somewhere to go because I do feel like I look so nice i feel like this is the best makeup i done did thus far if you like this video if you like my makeup make sure you give this video a big thumbs up you guys make sure you share this video subscribe catch the vibe hit that bell notification to be notified um like i was saying my yarn my yarn twist is always my go-to style so i figured like this is actually my style maybe if I just play around with the colors more to make it more fun how I want to, you know, because it's like, I like wigs and I will continue to do wigs, but wigs aren't really me per se yet, but like, you feel me? The yarn is really pretty and it's not heavy, it's not itchy, and it grows my hair really good. So that's why I am just obsessed with yarn twist. <laughs> Oh my god, y'all, I just cannot stop looking at myself like I did my makeup so and nice. And like I'm gonna have to go wake my girlfriend up so she can see this because she's sleep. Like when I do my makeup nice, she's not woke to be like and usually she come in my videos and interrupt a little bit or just pop her head in. But she sleep. How she gonna see my makeup if she sleep, y'all? Like, what do y'all think? Oh my God, I really love this. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna just end this video because I've been doing it. I've been doing it too long already. I'm gonna see if I get some good pictures in. Bye.